Hi everyone, welcome to our class at home painting series and now we're going to make um, puff or smoky dragon. I like to say smoky dragon. So now I'm going to get, um, I've done the backgrounds because I think a lot of you have already done my painting. So it's a blue wash, so my famous wash. And then you come on top of that wash with um, some more white. And the more white you have, obviously, the lighter it will go. So this one's a little bit darker. You've probably noticed all my paintings seem to change, painting to painting. I just like to keep it fresh, keep it fun. So now I'm going to come in with this green for the dragon. Oh, I'm doing green dragon. Of course, if you want to request a different coloured dragon, that's fine. But in the pack, you'll just get... Um, and you can paint it whatever colour you want with your own paints, but in the pack you'll get this emerald green, light green, yellow, blue, white and black. So now I've watered down this green, I'm coming in all, I'm essentially going to go all around the dragon. Yep, so nothing really exciting about this. I've watered this green down a little bit because then it's going to do two things. It's going to allow me to work around the painting a little bit faster. And then also I can still see the lines, which is important. It's going to come around. Oh, notice I've got a little bit of green flicked up there. So I'm just going to put it everywhere because we're going to come back around and paint on top. I even added a little Oh, on his nose there and all around the eyes oh, and some water these here yeah so what have you been doing at home have you all been enjoying these paintings please send me some of your pictures I would love to share them if you don't mind, if your parents don't mind sharing them on Facebook, that would be wonderful. So I'm going to come in with the green here, adding, adding water. So this is a um, green wash as well. I've got Oliver here, he's been very quiet in the background. I'm trying. You're trying to be quiet, aren't you? Thanks, Ollie. I'm going to go away and keep doing this because this is going to get a little bit boring for you. So I'll come right back. Hi, welcome back. So I've done the dark green all around. So I, I did it as a bit of a wash, um, but you don't have to at home. It's just when you've done all the dark green, I'd Put it outside and let it dry because it's always going to be easier working with a, a dry acrylic than a wet one and what I've done is I've taken that emerald green and the yellow and it's making like a really nice lime colored green which is really beautiful I've come in and I've gone on top of the horns here and into um, the scales so essentially just coming all around the dragon on top here. So just layering. Okay, it's been a fun little afternoon, but I'm back. So we're doing all the lime green highlights. So we've done all that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my light green into my palette with some white so I'm going to get some white in there and then I'm going to come around on top of all these little horns okay so still with the black lines and making sure you've got enough black here so it's a little bit Okay painters, having a bit of trouble with this video, so sorry if it seems a bit patchy on YouTube, that's behind the scenes info. <laughs> so we've done all our lines 
And so coming in with a zigzag pattern here, so zigzag, just exactly what it says. Always keep your black nice and close. Okay, which will keep, make it easier. Now I'm, of course, again, rushing all of this, but at home, I want you to all really take your time, please, and enjoy the experience of being a Z artist. <laughs> I love it, painting. I mean, everyone that knows me knows I'm quite serious about my art. That, like my yoga, if I don't paint every day, there's something wrong. Okay, so I'm coming up into giving like a scale effect. And I think too when times are tough, like we're all stuck at home at the moment, so it's a really beautiful time to explore the arts and the crafts and the science, all the messy stuff. So a sunny day, the backyard is a good idea, Mum or Dad. Or grandma or grandpa okay so coming there so that is looking pretty cool even if I do say so myself the um, biggest part about these paintings is just making sure that you've done all the outlines because I quite often get my little creatives going I finished and then I'll say but have you have you really finished because I want you to just do the best that you can in the time that we have available. Okay, so now I'm going to wash out my black brush, really wash it properly, dry it off on a cloth. You know, I always keep my little cloth beside me or a paper towel if you've got it home. And now I want you to come in and do some little white highlights. So I'm going to dot the dragon's eye, do some little highlights there. Um, I feel like that mouth. And just a few little swishes. Hi everyone, sorry if this video seems a little bit glitchy. I've had a few, um, a few technical issues. So this is Puff and we've done all the outlining uh, the last bit I always do is come in with your white highlights and then just do a few little finishing touches and you have your beautiful dragon. I really love this dragon. <laughs> I think I might offer the dragon too in red and yellow. I've been thinking, what do you think about that? Red, and yellow and orange dragon. That would be beautiful. Might do that over the weekend. All right, stay safe. Keep being good to your loved ones and bye for now.